What's up guys? Welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we finally got something that I've been waiting for for a while. Uh, since I did my build on the Threadripper, a lot of you were saying that the AIO cooler that I went with, the Kraken X62, was not sufficient enough for the Threadripper. It does keep it cool enough in the safe range. Uh, but it definitely doesn't keep it as cool as it should because it only covers probably like 60 to 70 percent of the entire CPU But it does cover the important part which is the two dies So after looking it up for a while Intermax finally came out with the 360 liquid tech made specifically to cover the TR4 socket 100% coverage of the TR4 socket. So I'm really excited about this. They've been out of stock everywhere forever Well, I finally got my hands on one. Thank you now the one that I'm using, the Kraken is a 280 millimeter radiator, so it's not that big. It's only got two fans. This is a 360 millimeter, so it's bigger, which is going to be better already, but then on top of that, it has the full coverage. Now, this is a 500 watt, and it's got overclocking support. It actually has a high flow rate of up to 450 liters per hour, which is really good. It's going to be cycling that liquid quick. It does have an LED logo, so it does light up, but it's nothing fancy like the X62, and like I mentioned in my build video. I'm not going for aesthetics, I'm going for function. Also, this has a 400 millimeter premium weaving tubing, so it should be extra super strong. Overall, the whole thing weighs about five and a half pounds, so it's a, it's a beast. As you can see, this is a big mother. Okay, let's open this up. All right, we got our user manual. Oh yeah, oh my goodness, look at that. Got our three Intermax fans. Very well built. Man, these feel heavy duty. I love the rubber on here. It's not like that crappy rubber they just put over the top. It's actually built into it. Oh God, I love new new electronic smell. Ah, and then we've got a little pouch here with all of our screws and connections and not only that, but it also comes with baby thermal paste. And I love that. That's great. We're going to use it. All right, let's, let's get this baby out. So just as advertised, there you go. Look how big that heat spread is. Oh my goodness. Of course you got on top the Intermax and then you got this super thick heavy duty tubing, which is great. And then the radiator itself. There we go, there's our radiator. Very heavy duty. I like the design, it's very slick. Again, this rubber, this super thick rubber along the sides here. This is actually really well built. I'm really, really digging this. Well, let's get this out of the way because we're gonna need to bring in the beast. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a time lapse of me just putting it in. This is not an instructional. Then I'm gonna test it out and then we'll go over the difference that I see between my X62 and this. Remember, this is not an apples to apples comparison. I'm gonna have to do some readjusting. You guys can't really tell, but uh, I've got a hard drive up here. I'm gonna have to move that. But anyway, uh, here we go. All right, there we go. So, uh, as you can tell, I am all sorts of fanned up. <laughs> I got fans down here. This is all intake, that's all exhaust. Um, so three in, four out. For those out there who are gonna give me a hard time about cable management, try getting this case and deal with your cables, okay? But I'm gonna go test it, and uh, in like two seconds, it'll feel like for you guys, I'll be back with results. Okay, cool. Well, now that it's done, I didn't do like an extreme amount of testing in the sense of like benchmarking and like stress tests and uh, thermal throttling or anything like that. I just didn't have the time to do it. But when I had the Kraken in the system, I basically, I just left it on idle. I checked the temperature and then I checked the temperature while it was rendering. And then I did the same test once I changed it to the, uh, the Intermax. With the NZXT sitting on idle, my system was at 3.4 gigahertz. It was sitting around 50 degrees Celsius. Now, most systems, you don't really want them to be sitting at 50 degrees Celsius when they're on idle for too long. That's usually not that great. Usually, the lower the better. So like 30, 40 is always pretty good. Under load with the Kraken, I was using about 29% utilization. It got up to roughly between 65 degrees Celsius and like 70. It would just jump around there when it was like rendering a video. So once I changed it to the Intermax, on idle, it was at 35 to 43 degrees Celsius, it was just kind of 
of sitting around there. So that was really good. Now under load, with 47% utilization, I was actually sitting around between 49 and 51 degrees Celsius. So that's a pretty good improvement. There's definitely a big temperature change now that the entire plate is completely 100% covered. Thank you, Intermax, for coming out with an awesome product. And I will say that that thing is heavy duty. That feels so solid. Yes, AMD has a list of suggested AIO coolers, but if they're not covering the CPU 100%, you're not gonna get the quality that you're gonna really want out of this system. So if you're gonna dish out the money to get a thread ripper, especially like a 1950X, definitely go with a cooler that's made for it. Now there are more coming out. I think Corsair came out with one, but if you're really wanting to get the most out of your new thread ripper, I would definitely highly suggest getting an Intermax. It's it's awesome. And the build quality is better than the NZXT, no doubt. 100% no doubt. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, help me out and hit that like button. Anyway, guys, that is it. That's all I've got for you. I'm going to leave it in your hands. I'll leave links down below. But as for now, get out of here.